Hello and welcome to a ASMR Chess. In this video, we will take a look at a very interesting game. We are on the white side. We have one of the most fascinating characters in the world. Tick billionaire and certified genius Bill Gates with the white pieces and a mystery person with the black pieces and this game is very special in that white had all the time that they wanted Bill Gates could use any amount of time for each of his moves where the player with the blank pieces had to make all their moves in 30 seconds and that's not 30 seconds per move that is 30 seconds for the entire game before we dive into this crazy game I want to post a little advert here so what you are seeing is footage from a review video where I review a microphone the TLM 49 from Neumann and this is a video that I've made for my patrons if you don't know patreon it's a it's a site where you can go and support your favorite creators for some amount uh, every month it could be one dollar it could be five dollars and I hope that this does not come off as some money grab um, the thing is that I work in the creative industry and uh, the effects of COVID-19 has been completely devastating to be honest and has left me uh, in, a, in a pretty serious financial situation so I've decided to do everything I can to provide for my family and came up with this you know make more content it's not going not going to make less content for the YouTube channel but I'm just going to make content also for the patreon channel uh, that will be exclusive to the supporters and uh, it's it's any uh, any support it's one dollar it's three dollars any support you'll get access to this stuff and uh, yeah, times, times demand, stuff like this. Okay, so let's take a look at this game. Bill Gates with the white pieces opened up with E4. This is a very, very good move. It is best by test as former world champion. Bobby Fischer said and what it does is that it stakes a claim in the center you see here takes control over these two white squares it opens up for the bishop to move it can go maybe here pressurize the weak square on f7 and it also opens up for the queen to go to any one of these squares and it doesn't hinder the knights in moving at all so that was a lot of arrows for a simple move but uh, if you play chess and you don't know how to start I recommend this one this is a very good move now the player with the black pieces threw a bit of a curveball here with the knight to c6 this is uh, the Nimsowich defense, quite rarely seen. 
especially at the higher levels. And normally you would see e5 instead, or maybe c5, the Sicilian defense. But this knight move does make some sense, because where this pawn move took control of two white squares, this guy is controlling two dark squares. How does Bill Gates answer that? Well, quite logically, knight to f3. And this just content contests these two squares, so now the knights are sort of cancelling each other out. So why does Bill Gates play good moves like this? Of course he has a genius level IQ, but that does not a good chess player make, to be honest. Well, he's also a bit of a chess enthusiast, actually. And by his own admission, he is rated about 1600. Okay, so what does the black player do? We see d5. And maybe you're thinking, oh wait, surely that pawn can just be taken like this. And in fact, it can. The queen would recapture. But the black player has to checkmate in just 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So the black player would like to get their queen out as early as possible, even though such a strategy is normally as advised against. Why? Well, the queen is the strongest piece and it is very effective for checkmating attacks. So the black player wants to develop the queen and pressurize Bill Gates as much as possible, as quickly as possible. And Bill is not, he's not really falling for that. He could capture, but instead he plays this move. And the bishop here defends the pawn. He's saying, I'm not going to capture your pawn just yet. I want my king to be able to castle to safety before I get myself involved with any of your dirty business. I want a safe king. Okay. Now we see from black knight to f6. And this pressurizes this pawn twice now so it has now it has to do something and Bill Gates says okay okay now I will capture like this and the black player says well cheers mate now I get what I wanted the Queen moves out and this position is actually pretty good for white you could say that this bishop right here is kind of awkwardly placed because it's blocking this pawn and that would be correct. This pawn would like to move so that this bishop would be released or unleashed. But white also has advantages in this position and Bill Gates takes advantage of one of those instantly with a knight. So c3 attacking the queen. And this, my friends, is why we usually advise against moving your queen too early in the game. Because you risk putting her on square where she will be attacked by the natural developing moves of your opponent. The queen has to move, so it's a loss of a tempo. It goes here. And Bill says, well, thank you very much. I have now gained a free move almost, and I can just castle my king to safety 
and there is no way that you are going to beat me in 30 seconds from this position. Ah, uh, but he was wrong. Position is still completely fine for white, but the black player piles on the pressure. What would you play in this position? How to figure out what move to play? You are in a hurry. It has to be quick and aggressive because you only have 30 seconds to finish the game and you've already uh, used quite a bit of that time maybe. So there's no moving this rook, it takes too long. This rook also takes too long. This bishop, you'll have to move a pawn first, takes too long. So that leaves us with this one as the only undeveloped piece that can join the attack quickly. Where do you put it? The most aggressive square possible. G4. This pins the knight to the queen. So the knight cannot really move. And Bill says, that's intolerable. That's not good enough for me. I'm going to kick that away with h3. He plays h3 and this attacks the bishop. Now the black player chose to sacrifice this bishop in this position because he was because they were thinking, okay, I need to checkmate quickly. I cannot waste time moving my pieces around and shuffling and building pressure slowly. No, it has to be very fast. So he just left the bishop there and played knight here. So what do you think of this move? Do you think it's a good move? Or do you think it's a bad move? Or is it something in between? Well, I can tell you that if you put this position into a computer running a chess program, it will tell you that white is winning in this position. And if white just plays the actually the exactly the right moves from here on out until the game has finished, then white will win the game. But even though Mr. Bill Gates knows a whole lot about computers, maybe more than almost anybody else in the world, he does not play like a computer. He is a human being and as such he is subject to psychology and he is feeling the pressure. However, he does play the first correct move in the winning continuation and admittedly it is not that hard to find. He just bravely captures the bishop. He is now ahead on material. That means he has more pieces than his opponent and that is a huge advantage. And now we see the plan because of course black was not planning to just give up the bishop for no compensation no the plan was to capture like this why well if you want to take a little bit of a look at the coordination of the knight and the queen here you can see that there is a threat of a checkmating attack here but if you take a look at this knight, you can see that if the queen does come to h2, it will be captured. Okay. So, is this attack futile or is there more threats hidden in the position? Of course, there is. What sort of threats? Now, let's take a look at this knight. This knight is threatening to actually just capture here. That would be check against the king. 
so you would have to recapture and doesn't matter if you recapture with the queen or the pawn because as soon as this knight goes it's no longer defending h2 and queen to h2 will then be checkmate and Bill under the pressure he uh, he did find a way to prevent this knight from capturing this knight but it was not a very good way because he captured that knight and of course that allows for checkmate in one move like this and the game had ended here now let's back up in this position white is winning if you take a long look at this position could you figure out how to beat black in this position say you have the white pieces what would you play it's not easy so give yourself some time if you want to or if you don't want to or you can't find the solution post a comment and ask me to do a video where I explain it or just explain it in the comments okay so now it's time to see if we can figure out who the player with the black pieces was so I'm going to give you a couple of clues the first clue is that it's a guy the second clue he is really good and I mean really really unfathomably good at chess what kind of chess well classical chess with hours on the clock he is very good at that fast chess with like 15 minutes on the clock he's very good at that and blitz chess with just minutes or seconds on the clock he is even better how good exactly well I can tell you that when this game ended in this position the black player had 22 seconds left on his clock that means that he used 8 seconds for the entire game all the moves he thought for 8 seconds and to be honest that time was really only spent because he had to physically move the pieces over the board Okay, let's give I'll give you some more clues this guy played this game against Bill Gates on Norwegian live television are you getting there this guy is Norwegian himself he played Mark Zuckerberg who created Facebook just the week before also handedly beat him this guy is world chess champion he is champion of classical chess and he has been champion of rapid chess and blitz chess also multiple times he is without a doubt the strongest living chess player in the world and really he is one of the strongest chess player to have ever lived his name is Magnus Carlsen and if you search for Magnus Carlsen Bill Gates you can watch the interview with Bill Gates and the game they played it's live it's on Scaflin television's uh, YouTube channel so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it I will make more 
and I wish you all a very happy day. I hope that you stay safe and take care of yourself. I love you.